Hey guys, it's me Juan. Um, if you're on my Tumblr, it's Damier Fan. If you're on my YouTube, it's Mustang Man 07. Um, I'm sorry I haven't made any recent videos or pickups. It's just that I've been in Mexico for the last three weeks. And if uh, any of you guys have gone toward a central Mexico area, um, Wi-Fi isn't the easiest thing to come by. Um, it does exist, but it's mainly in people's homes and in my grandfather's home there is no Wi-Fi. <laughs> So um, I was pretty much internetless or webless for a few weeks, three weeks, four days I think to be exact. Um, I'm having a hard time deciding what my next Louis Vuitton piece is going to be, which is why I also haven't had any videos. Um, but I do appreciate all the comments and support and thumbs up, thumbs down, all the um, love you guys are showing my site. Um, I appreciate it. I'll continue to make videos. and. Um, my next video should be in a few days from now when I get my, um, my, I dropped it off yesterday, my name tag thing, my luggage tag to get heat stamped, and, um, I'm going to show a video showing kind of how much clothes and shoes will fit inside of a Keep All 50, which is what I have. It's a request that I've gotten, and I just haven't had the time to do it, but I'm going to do it. Um, I'm kind of low on energy right now, and I'm feeling a little sick. I just played a round of golf, and I started, I teed off at, I think, 6.30 this morning, and, um, it's really cold, and it's, um, it was raining a little bit, so, <clears throat> it's a little sick. Um, I had a pretty cool pickup, um, last night, actually. Um, golf is one of my many passions, as well as, um, cars, and, photography and um, clothing, accessories and all that, um, tattoos, I have quite a bit of passions, but golf is probably one of my favorite things to do, it's very relaxing, um, nothing like getting out there and playing with a couple friends or even by yourself, it's still a great sport to play, um, I love that you can never master it, so many things I love about the sport, um, as some of you guys know, I'm actually going to Cabo's San Lucas, Mexico next month with um, my girlfriend and her family. So since I'm going to be going out there, and I don't really plan on going out there for a long time, um, I figured I'd take my golf clubs and go out there and um, shoot some of those beautiful courses they have out there. Um, while I'm doing that, I actually want to play in style. And um, one of the things I've been wanting for about two or three months now, but I haven't been able to commit to them, have been a pair of white golf pants. The only company who really makes a pair that's slim and that looks good and modern and hip would be Jay Lindenberg. Um, most of their company's pants are really wide and really baggy looking and not really for the younger golf crowd like myself. I'm, I'm 21. So um, so I picked up this pair of um, of, J, of uh, Nike golf pants um, because those Jay Lindenberg pants are A, $150.00. B, the material is more of um, a plasticky feel, like a, like a jogging suit, and um, the Jay Lindenberg is in Beverly Hills, so that's a pretty good, um, pretty good drive. Um, so I went to Goldsmith and I ended up grabbing these. Um, it's a white base, and then it has the gray, um, like a uh, checkered pattern, striped pattern, whatever you want to call it. Um, they are from Nike, like I said earlier. Um, I was kind of on the fence about these because I love the way they look. They're very, um, very golfy, very modern, but, um, the link on as you can kind of see here, they're a tad wide. Um, I don't, I don't mind that they're a little wide because, um, well, a good golf pant should be wide just so that, um, you're the split so they don't get stuck on your shoes and not restricting you, but, um, these are just a tad wider than I like them to be, so my girlfriend says she's going to take them and um, just uh, basically tailor them a bit to me. Um, I just want them to fit a little bit closer to my body. And like I said, I'm a younger golfer, so I don't want the older, fat man, you know, look. Um, I'm a little chunky, but not, I've got a little bit of a stomach, but um, I'm not a wider guy, so I, I, I kind of want to keep it, you know, I want to show my... Um, my, not my body, but I, I just want a, a slimmer looking outfit, um, as some of the younger guys in golf do. Um, I got these for 80 bucks, as you can see here from Golfsmith. Um, and overall, I've been eyeing these pants for about a week or two now online. 
not well, I'll be, no, I'm bluffing because I've been back for about three days. I've been eyeing these for about um four weeks now. I got them a week. Be I, I saw these a week before I went to Mexico. So roughly four weeks is what I've been looking at these. And I finally got back to the States and decided to pick them up. Along with um with those uh, those pants, I also got a new pair of golf shoes. I know most of you guys probably aren't interested in golf stuff, but I figured I'd make it just in case one or two of my subscribers are golf fans. And if not, I'm sure someone on YouTube will Google these Adidas golf shoes and golf pants, and maybe they'll um they'll like them. Anywho, um, these are the pants, that, uh, the shoes that I got. They look really good with flacks or shorts, which is why I picked these up because my pair that I'm using now is more of a dress shoe looking cleat so it's mostly made for um slacks um and since summer's here and it's coming out bright i figured i'd um i'd get these um like i said i want to golf in cobbles and style and i figure these will probably be one of the pieces i need my favorite golfer ever camilo villegas is actually currently using these and um they look great so um i figure um if I really do want the white like, golf pants, I'll um, pick them up from Jalen and Burke when I go pick up the name tag for my people. Um, it uses an 8 spike design, as you can see here. Um, these look, these felt very comfortable. I've used Nike, Foot Joy, um, Echo, uh, Puma, and now Adidas. And um, I have to say that right now I'm a huge Foot Joy fan, but um, only if you buy the high end Foot Joys. If you buy the basic Foot Joy, start at 60 bucks. They're really uncomfortable. Um, so I'm, right now I'm using the uh, Foot Joy Icons, which I think are like 260 bucks, And they're a really nice pair of shoes and they're really comfortable. But um, they're comfortable for maybe three hours tops. They're comfortable if I'm riding. If I'm walking um, along the course, um, they start getting really annoying. And um, the fact that I have to wear um, a dress, uh, dress sock and slacks with them kind of gets annoying because now that it's summer I want to be able to enjoy wearing a short um, shorts so this is where these come into play and um, can't wait to wear these um, these are 160 ish I believe is what these go for um, in case anyone's wondering and um, as long as I can get um, six good months out of use I play maybe twice a week so as long as I could probably wear these a good um, 80 times or so I figure if that not even 80 times, just a good 60, 70 times, um, I'll be, uh, I'll be okay. Um, I don't know what else to say that I might change the spikes out to some of those spider ones that I normally wear with my Fit Joys that I don't have here, um, just because I love the way those spikes feel and these feel a little, um, rougher, but we'll see. Um, I don't know what else to add other than, um, you guys can go ahead and, um, comment on here or on my actual site and let me know what you guys want me to um, review next. Um, I don't know if I'm doing sh the Louis Vuitton shoes yet, if I'm going to do um, a messenger bag, I believe it's the Brooklyn, if I'm doing a toiletry kit, if I'm doing the Damier, a sore initial belt, I don't I don't know yet. I need some opinions, so um, you're always welcome. Um, I don't know what else to say other than um, most of this golf stuff is going to be boring for some of you guys, but if there's a golfer or two out there, um, I'd love to hear what gear you're using, clubs, um, etc., etc. Um, as you can probably tell by the hat, I'm currently using Cobra Irons. Um, all Cobra gear, Scotty Cameron putter, and um, well, I use Fit Joy shoes as well. Um, and I am yeah, using the Pro V1, sorry, the Pro V1 ball. Um, yeah, so go ahead and subscribe if you like. I'm really sorry for a the the length of this video because it is going toward 10 minutes, and I am sorry for um, for the energy I have. I'm just really beat, and I really want to play with these shoes. So I think I'm actually gonna go out tonight and um, hit up a local par three just to break these in. And um, you know what I'll say? And thanks for subscribing, guys. Once again, I appreciate every single comment you guys post. Um, the views. Um, have been great. My uh, Louis Vuitton videos have been up for maybe about a month or so, and some of them are up to, I think, almost 1,100 views, which is amazing. So, um, thank you guys for all the support. Um, have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.